everybody are looking wonderful as usual. Now, there's one thing that gets to me and I just cannot get over it. It is Frenchmen. Frenchmen speak so wonderfully. I think that's why the ladies love the Frenchmen. So the other day I was on a flight. I was going to Nigeria. Now, trust me, it's really hard to get a flight from Nairobi to Nigeria. So what happened is I got into my flight and I had to go to Europe, then get a flight from Europe to Nigeria. First thing I did, I sit down and the lady comes on the public address and she says, ladies and gentlemen, welcome aboard our flight. The captain has put on the seatbelt sign. Please make sure you're on your seats, take your seatbelts. And if you haven't put your luggage on, if you haven't put away your luggage, put it under the seat in front of you or on the compartment above you. This is a non-smoking flight. So ladies and gentlemen, please adhere to these rules. That's normal. Then the lady spoke French. What? Mesdames et messieurs, bienvenue à bord notre vol à destination de Nigeria. Ceux qui n'ont pas encore mis leur bagage, nous vous prions de les mettre au sous du siège en face de vous. Ceci est un vol non fumeur. And I was surprised. I was like, wow. No wonder we love the Frenchmen. So we got all the way to Paris. And on arrival at Paris, those who were getting off had to go off because it was a stopover. And we got in some people from Paris to Nigeria. I expected the beautiful voice again. What did I hear? Eh, uh -huh. Those of you who know you are going to Nigeria, make you that. <laughs> Listen, oh, this is not your father's flight, eh? I am not. <laughs> this one will not be your papa flight. There is no flight attendant. If you know you're waiting for food, help. You are not going to get it. There is no flight attendant. You will not go to the toilet. If you want to go, go now. Because in this plane, I'm going to be flying from here to Nigeria. Those of you, in case of emergency, I don't even want to see anybody pressing anything. In case of emergency, lift up your left arm. Pull up the window. My brother, jump. Before you jump. And before you jump, Make sure you tell your neighbor oh, so that he can close the window after you've left. I don't want anything in this plane that did not pay for the ticket. So anyway, we got to Nigeria. I wanted to find out what is it about us Kenyan ladies that makes the Nigerian men come after us because Nigerian men are really marrying Kenyan women. So I went for a seminar. Here in Kenya, we have seminars and you see the speaker come forward and she's like, well, you see, I have been married to my husband for 15 years. Marriage is not a bed of roses. <laughs> my husband is very supportive. That's boring. This Nigerian people, the speaker came in and it was war from jump. This lady comes in and this is what she did. There is fire. My people, there is fire. Women, what is happening? What do these Kenyan women have over us? If anything, they don't have juju like we have. Eh? How are they taking our men? In fact, I'm very mad at you. Oh. Listen, prospect provokes expenditure. And then now you won't sit in this house. Eh? Because you've been given money to go and fix your hair. You don't want to cook for this brother. What's wrong with you? When you want to leave this house, you're bringing someone to come and cook for your man. What are you thinking? Hey, hey, baby, I'm going to fix my hair. Nkechi will prepare for you, you are mean. Okay, my sister, go. When you are there, your husband is busy analyzing future prospects in Nkechi. And then you're going to start complaining. Uh -uh. Baby, let's dial pizza. Baby, let's dial chicken. Dial what? One day that man is going to dial a second wife for you. I've said my own. If you want, listen. If you don't want, uh -uh. not be my wahala. That's it, Nairobi. Blessings like millions.